Hey, what's up guys? This is Ricky from No Lemons and today I brought my car over to Talapatter Company to get the wheels done. The reason why I chose this company? Well, many reasons. Family owned business and they do the work properly. Let's go a little bit deeper and find out how they do it. Let's go. Hey, what's up guys? Ricky here from Nolan again with Jeff. We've met before. You've probably seen the last video we did in Irish Motor Festival. That's where we met. Um, and now they're doing some crazy, crazy nice stuff for the i8. So first thing first, just find out again, how long is a uh, Tala Powder Company? Uh, 1985. Wow. Established. And that's fully family owned. Yep. And it's been passed. The, the father and mother-in-law started in the back garden. Oh, okay. Okay, there we go. So it's a full Irish history right here. Um, I've seen their show on RT as well. The recently there, they were mm. explaining about how long and the family and so on and what they do here. So what are we doing today? So today we're demonstrating a standard set of, uh, how a standard set of alloy wheels would be powder coated mm -hmm. with the, pr the whole production line, I suppose, from the car coming in, mm -hmm. your car, mm -hmm. uh, wheels coming off, Tires coming off, going into a sandblaster for the, the the first part of the, the first part of the production, I suppose. The preparation stage is the sandblasting, taking everything that was off of them, as you know, yeah, the, yeah. The lacquer peeling and you know, the, yeah, yeah, basically yeah, yeah. get them ready. They then went in for a heat treatment, as okay. you've seen, uh, and then the powder coating, and then the lacquer, a brand new shiny black gloss wheels. There we go. And doing that process, can you just explain why is it so important to do every single process on that wheel? Yeah, absolutely. If, if you took a wheel in, say, and for argument's sake, thought you could get away with just painting over it, first of all, there's a lot of wheels out there that have maybe already been refurbished by someone else, could have been yeah. just someone in their back garden or a job done in a garage with wet paints. Mm -hmm. Because we're going into an oven at 200 degrees, um, if you went over whatever was on them, if you tried to do a basic prep and went over them 200 degrees, anything like that's just going to blow up like a balloon, like bubble mm -hmm. gum underneath the, mm -hmm. the powder that we apply. Mm -hmm. So the most important thing about prepping it, especially the sandblast inside of it, is to get any impurities, anything out of the wheel, brake dust, anything like that that could have been embedded in the alloy. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, alloy is, alloy is porous as well, so it has a tendency to gas. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you know mm -hmm. that, but yeah, yeah. when alloy is forged, you sometimes get pockets of air in it and if you put it into an oven then the gas comes out and if you mm -hmm. paint over that cold without prepping it that will come through the paint so what okay. we do during that process it's it's a really full-on process as you saw the, the wheels being yeah. prepped like yeah, the yeah, yeah. side of it and it's just literally to give us peace of mind as well as the customer that they've been done from scratch like they would have been when they were forged as a bare mm -hmm. alloy like mm -hmm. you know and my wheels were uh, diamond cut that shouldn't make it different for our customer if they were wheels were diamond cut or no not really um the only problem that we have sometimes with diamond cut wheels you've probably seen them older models than your car mm -hmm. where the lacquer's so badly corroded what happens is where the lacquer doesn't completely go mm -hmm. the water gets in underneath it and pockets there and starts corroding and eating away at the actual alloy mm -hmm. that's what we don't like to see because it's very hard to get that back like you know and let's just say standard wheel 18 inch or 20 inch how much do you charge per wheel to get them done? Um, so from, I think it's for 13 inch to 18 inch, we charge a standard 80 euro a wheel plus the VAT, which works out for 363 for a set. Um, after that, 19 to 20 inch is 90 euro, mm -hmm. and then the 21 to 22 inch, which is pretty much all we would go up to, like, you know, mm -hmm. apart from some truck wheels, yeah. goes up to 100 euro a wheel. Yeah. That's a wheel rolling into, rolling which, into our Personally, door. I think it's really, really worth it. Like after seeing all the work that they put into it, I really thought it was just like, you know, sand in it with sandpaper and then spray, yeah. that kind of thing. But it's completely different um, to what I've seen today. I kind of have a much better understanding of what mm. it takes to do these kind of wheels and why it's important. And well, we, we, get a lot of, we get a lot of that where people would ask us, why do we have to have the wheels for two to three days? And as you've seen there today, mm -hmm. in some cases, it's just impossible to prep a wheel inside yeah. a day, like because of what goes before what we yeah. do with the painting. I think I've seen like already so far and we're even halfway through doing the wheels about three times for the wheels to be in and out through the oven. Exactly, yeah. And that, again, that's that's for our own peace of mind, putting a wheel in, gassing it just to get mm -hmm. any impurity out of that wheel, like, you know, before we go near it with primer or paint. Okay. And now that that's wheels on for customers that actually wants to do restore their 
say metal items, whatever it could be. Oh, everything, anything okay. is metal. Okay. We powder coat anything, uh, from from quad frames to motorcycles to bicycles to wheels to subframes, anti roll bars, you name it. From Ooh. automotive. What is the oldest thing you ever refurbished? Um, probably a. There's a nice cream bike out there. Did you see that? Uh, no. It was featured on the Late Late Show. I think that was 1916. Okay. So it's over 100 wow. years old. I think we've done some older things as well. I think like we've had um, we've had some sort of antiquities like yeah, um, yeah. Uh, old vases, things like that that would be probably 19, 19th mm. century. Wow. So it could wow. be late 1800s. Like. Wow. Wow. Oh, I don't want to need, I'd say your grandfather and grandfather again, they had some crazy yeah, stuff in yeah, here. Yeah, absolutely. And like, yeah. I'd love to actually see the ice cream bike. And in terms of as a business and where you stand in Ireland, why do you see yourself better than others places that refurbish stuff? Now, I personally think what I've seen, what you put into the wheel and the way you do the wheels, um, I haven't seen that around in Ireland and I'm here, what, 15 years? And I do, will probably recommend every single person to get their wheels to be done here from now onward. But why people should come here rather than going to other places? I think there's a couple of factors. Firstly and foremostly, experience, 30, 30 years. Mm -hmm. We were there, we were back there years ago when you make the mistakes, whether they were f through your own. Um, you, you get caught out on things. Like, I can remember years ago, in the early days, doing a set of Mercedes wheels, right? Mm -hmm. The same set, four or five times, never a problem. And then on the fifth or sixth time, the same set that I just thought, I'd do them with my eyes closed now came out the oven with holes all over them. That was the anti-gassing that I was talking to you about. Mm -hmm. Just not knowing like, you know, that's what you need to yeah. do. But I think the biggest thing is, it's a family run business. Mm -hmm. You know, we're mm -hmm. all singing off the same hymn sheet here. And that's we what kind know, of separates you. Absolutely, we all know what has to be done. Okay. Um, and we know we're only as good as our last job. If you let something okay. out that's not cutting the mustard, it's yeah. gonna come back. And you could have somebody go off and give you a complaint and that doesn't matter for whatever went on 33 years before that. Yeah, That's word of mouth, see, yeah. Word, word of mouth. Yeah. yeah, perfect. So again, guys, thank you so much for doing the wheels on the i8. I can see myself coming back here again and getting more cars done. Um, what do you want to say before we go? Um, ex reiterating what you've said, anyone wants a quality job done, yeah. they know where to go. Perfect, to go. perfect. Thank you again so much, Jeff. Um, and I'll see you guys soon. Let's go. Thanks. Um, I want to see the bike. Yeah, <laughs> you want to see, see the bike? bike. <laughs>